Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel, I am back with another video and basically today I was on Facebook and uh, I saw an old picture of myself and I just looked at it like, Brian what the fuck were you thinking? So I just thought what I'll do for today's video is go through some of my old pictures and react to them basically because I know this idea has never been done before, like ever. But yeah, um, let's just jump straight into it. This was one of my first actual <laughs> pictures on Facebook. I had like little pictures that weren't me at first, but this was my first ever like actual picture. God, I just looked dopey as hell. Back then, no beard, no nothing. It's <laughs> just the weird little, it always had to be with a hood up, like, no matter what it was, like, it, Facebook picture, normal picture, picture with the family, the hood was up, and <laughs> I don't know why, this is back in 2010, oh my god. Oh, moving on to my next, <laughs> my next little always in the picture, middle finger up, I don't know why I thought it was cool, <laughs> it, it, it's obviously not, it's... It's just ridiculous. Middle finger up at the camera like, yeah, fuck you. And God, I was a lot skinnier back then. Jesus, I have put on so much weight since then. This is from 2011. That's one of the first, like, band t-shirts I owned. Like, My Chemical Romance. Massive. I was a massive fan back then. And, well, I still really like them, just not as big of a fan as I was. Middle finger up. It was the start of something special. Oh, my God. The first time I ever tried to <laughs> take myself and put myself in another picture. Just look at how crap that is. Could you imagine if I tried to use that as a thumbnail? Jesus Christ. I realise my thumbnails aren't really, boom, the best. But <laughs> that was my edited skills back in 2011. Oh, what an idiot. What an absolute idiot. Still in 2011, and uh, this is actually a picture from when I was visiting my family in Scotland. Uh, we were in park and just saw a stormtrooper. I was like, do you know what? I have to take a picture with a stormtrooper. It's a stormtrooper, come on. Not much more to say on that, like, I'm a massive Star Wars fan. I think I've already stated that I'm a bit geeky. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Still at it with the middle finger up, and for some reason... I don't know why, when I when I stick my middle finger up, my thumb always has to be out. It's not like it's something that asks, that that everyone does, but like I always, it's always like thumbs up while while it while it's happening. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm also eating a nice little bit of pizza there. I think it was my mum who tried to surprise me by just randomly taking a picture, and I was like, yeah, middle finger still has to go up, doesn't it? So yeah, basically I'm swearing at my mum in that picture. Bit disrespectful on my part. Now this one is a rare picture. It was still in 2011 here, but uh, this one is a really rare picture. It's me in a football top. I'm not a football fan. I think I've stated this quite clearly. I'm not a big football fan unless it comes to watching the World Cup or watching the Euros. I have no idea why... I even had a Blackburn Rovers top. I think back then I might have been slightly into football, but I just don't see the point of it anymore, to be honest. Oh, I think this one's going to be the whitest picture you'll ever see in your life. The backwards baseball cap, the hoodie on, legs spread, arms folded like I'm trying to act hard. <laughs> oh, I swear I was some sort of different. I have no clue what goes through my mind when I get these pictures taken. I I just look like a weirdo trying to act hard. Forgive me. <laughs> oh, wow. Here's proof that the middle finger was always there. I'm sat in McDonald's. Just sat in McDonald's and I have to stick my middle finger up at the camera. Like, why? What the hell is the matter with me? Middle finger to the world. What the hell? Sometimes I just don't really know me. <laughs> Obviously rocking the hoodie again. I, still, I don't know. I just love hoodies. 
I mean, the hood isn't always up nowadays. It isn't in this picture, but it used to be, like, constantly. Middle finger in McDonald's. I don't even like McDonald's. This is from January 2012. What the hell am I doing? What am I even doing? It's I've got a fucking duck face going on and the whole peace sign. What is wrong with me? That's what girls used to do back in 20, like 2012 and all that. There's me fucking doing it. Sometimes I just wish I could go back in time and just give myself a good slap. Just think, this is only like, what, six years ago? Some kind of fucking mental knee. So yeah, it appears we've moved on from the whole fuck you world to <laughs> gun fingers. Why? This is honestly making me cringe. Like, I don't cringe that often. But going through my old pictures now is pure making me cringe. I hate to think what you're, you guys are going to think when you see all this. Ah... Oh. This just shouldn't be something on the internet. It just shouldn't. What I go on pifting? What's your BBM pin? Jesus. I'm thinking here I'm going to give you a good laugh. Basically, this was the first time I ever dyed my hair. And it was meant to be blonde. I think you can tell it came out sort of gingery. I've, I've dyed my hair loads since then, but that picture. I don't know if I was trying to be edgy or what, but... You could tell it just didn't work. And that was when I first had my ear pierced as well. The pierced ear, the blonde hair, trying to look like some art of fucking, I don't know, boys on or some shit. <laughs> now this is a weird one. Uh, basically, I got handed my little sister's hat and got told to see if it would fit on my head. It's, it's just one of them things. That's how weird I am. I'm still that weird. Like, I'd still be doing shit like this today. There's a glimpse into my psyche, like, just the mental goings on in my mind. Now, looking at this, I think you can tell I'm a bit too old for this shit. Yeah. So this is 2012, so I would have been 18. That is definitely too old to be doing that shit. I made that title. I think I made that title when I was, like, 12, something like that. Always been a wrestling fan. That's my big thing. I've always been a wrestling fan, but I think I am definitely too old to be trying to rock holding up a championship belt that I made back when I was a kid. Jesus. I think a weird part about this is I've still got that championship belt. It's somewhere in a box. I've still got it. I can't bring myself to throw it away. I was like proper proud of it when I was a kid. So this is the picture that I was talking about. This is the one that's made me do this video. Just just look at me. Like, who wouldn't want that, eh? Who wouldn't want the guy who's skinny as hell trying to act hench as fuck? Again, Wagwan Pitting. What's your BBM pin? Oh, we've got another gangster wannabe one. Oh, I don't know how much more of this I can take. We're, we're only on 2013. This is going to be the last one that I'm showing you. Because I don't know how much more I can take of it. But yeah, another one trying to be the whole, oh yeah, look at me, I'm all hard. I'm a fucking genius, me, look at me. This time fucking rock, rocking the cap on, the hoodie up, middle finger to the world, with the thumb still up. What the hell is wrong with you, Ryan? I, I, I was never like the hard man, never like, oh yeah, I'll fucking kick shit out of you, mate. Never that guy, but for some reason I tried portraying myself like that in all of my pictures. I'm, I'm going to have to end it there, because this has just been cringy as fuck for me. But yeah, if you did like it, give it a like. Um, comment down below like what it was like for you back six years ago, ten years ago, whatever. If you <laughs> How different you were back then. And comment down below if you'd actually like to see a part two. Me going through some more of these because I'm sad to say I know I've got shit loads more. <laughs> uh, so yeah, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date with my content. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.